This shit is fresh. What track is this? Here's another matchup I most likely will lose. Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, to me, it's like 50-50 and fun. Like, I just get bored of it very quick because the game's too dark. There's not enough cool levels or anything. Like, it's too... Everything's too dark. This nigga did two things to me and I'm already dead. I'ma just sit here and let the nigga take the victory. I ain't beat no Karen. Street Fighter 5, no hope. Almost could have lost because there's V trigger. Uh, I mean, if, if Angel felt like a chargeback was warranted for uh, trolling when he knows my rules and he's been in here plenty of times, then so be it. Life's too short. I'm not tripping over 40 bucks. He'll just never get the chance to play me again. think he would do that lag a lag plus Karen good luck yep. blacklist I knew I was gonna lose as soon as you see a meta 90% chance he gonna lose Overpowered V triggers, lag, crush counters, overpowered normals. Come on now. <laughs> Look what I had to do to try to pull off that victory. Wait, hold on. Why'd y'all niggas ban him again? What did he, what what that nigga say? All the, oh, he said, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, he was teabagging. I guess he got annoyed. Um, he got annoyed at the way I was playing Simon, and he started teabagging the next game that we played. And uh, you guys already know that when you teabag me in a set that I'm taking out of my actual life clock to play that you paid for, uh, you forfeit the set. So that's cool. I'll dispute it through uh through PayPal and all that type of shit. And hey, they want to get a nigga his forty back? Oh fucking well. I'm not crying over it. Life goes on. You said you, nigga, you played me last night when you was playing with a, 
did Angel use last night? Yeah, this nigga uh, was teabagging with Rob, right? Oh, I got the wrong nigga. Oh, my bad, Angel. Oh, I banned the wrong dude. Dude, these niggas online are trash. No footsies, nothing. Just YOLO dashes and shit. Man, that Urian was basic and sloppy. No sick ages setups, nothing. Just a fucking fraud, man. Damn. Every time I lose in this game, it just nothing feels real. I don't feel like I got outplayed or anything. Just a trash, lucky, sorry ass nigga that could pull off a victory in Street Fighter V. What the game's designed for, for trash, sorry ass motherfuckers to pull off victories over good niggas like myself. Play some fucking fraudulent trash ass wannabe online you're in. is always cool and collected whatever fucking trash ass fucking green player man I'll be doing a lot better if I didn't have a raging headache right now I already took a couple of pills. Uh, yeah, headaches are something I've struggled with my entire life. They've just gotten better. But I used to always get crazy migraine attacks, but um, they've gotten better over the years. Uh, you know, because my temper has gotten a lot better. Uh, I took a couple of um, Advil migraines. I'm hoping it's going to wear off. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, genetically, I do have a uh, high blood pressure, which is why I'm a lot better with my, um, uh, hold on, a lot better with my temper now. Um, only time I really shout is when I'm on stream. Outside of that, I never yell.
and I'm trying to hit the gym tonight too. Anything I do that requires me lifting something is gonna increase my headache even more. So here's a matchup I'm gonna have to sit here. If I miss one anti-air, I lose. Mika gets on me one time, I lose. <sighs> hey mods, I see somebody here that needs to be banned. Thank you, five star, you know what it was. Round one, fight! Come on, man. Was this nigga better than me? No. Capcom took away chip kills, everything to help these scrubs. That should have been a game for me. Not better than me, man. That's bullshit, man. Nigga lost the entire game, got V-Trigger, kept me in the corner and beat me. This game is bullshit, man. Get beat by a fucking fraud. Just stuck in the corner, can't do a fucking thing. To a fraud, man. Niggas get carried by these characters. What a fucking goddamn fraud, man. Fucking goddamn online, bitch. Round one. Fight. Bitch ass damn punk. It's a fraud. Look at that shit. Got this bitch in range to do a fucking command grab off that. Y'all think Kobe is gonna beat Kamar? I think he might. Cause he's got a better gas tank, but I, I, matter of fact, I don't know. That nigga's big and African, so I really don't know. This dude's so good. Fuck out of here, you fucking fraud. It's a fucking fraud, bitch ass nigga. Look at that, in range for a fucking command grab.
front. You know what, I'm not even gonna quit. I'm just sitting here stuck the whole time while this nigga just sits here and just... And then they make the character react from far away to those stupid ass fucking thunderclaps. I know, I did see it. I did see what happened to Tyron. I don't see Kobe beating fucking, uh... Beating Kamar, but... Who, who the fuck knows, man? Everybody's human at the same time. Anything could fucking happen. I don't see him beating... I don't see him beating Kamar Usman at all, but I mean, I could have said the same shit about Anderson versus fucking who the fuck is this nigga's name? I forgot. Whiteman. DC. I knew DC was going to probably get pieced up when he kept throwing uppercuts. Everything he threw at a uh, Stipe, it wasn't knocking him out. I think he went in there with this shit like he was for sure. He was going to knock this nigga out. I don't even know Laura's frame data, honestly. I'm about to go test that shit out. How do you lose to someone if they don't know how to play the game? Because we're playing in a game. This is the this is the type of game where scrubs have the most help they've ever had in any fighting game on the planet. Um, in Street Fighter 4, you can play so nonchalant, do whatever you want against somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Um, somebody in this game is built. The design is built. You got crush counter, sloppy play. There's no focus attack. Um, oh, I'm probably gonna lose this game. It's probably best I use. Toxic glamour. You can't play Street Fighter 5, my nigga, because you don't want to. But anybody in this chat watching me right now has a chance at beating me. Because it's at this game, because it's Street Fighter 5. It's not because you're better than me, because you're not. It's the fact that we're playing in a system that's designed for that. Ultra Platinum. Fuck all my work. We playing against a nigga who can't even make it to Diamond. so fucking annoying uh, all i'm thinking about is like how much points this nigga got the whole time appreciate that angel thanks for finally going green i'll definitely give you your games uh we'll run your games tomorrow too i got you mixed up with somebody else i was t i was talking to this nigga the whole time and everything like yeah blah 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 and it wasn't even him Somebody, uh, oh, that's crazy. Let's make it all about what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Just spamming shit. Yeah, I've lost tons of matches to people in Street Fighter 4 that don't know what they're doing. Unorthodox people are dangerous in fighting games. Like this dude, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's just praying it works. See? Just mashing. This dude has no idea what he's doing, which is why he's still ultra platinum in a game that's been out since 2015. 
But this is the only game on the planet this dude actually has a chance of pulling off a victory over me. That's the crazy thing about it. player is not getting any points off me so because somebody give me that dude's gamer tag anytime someone's platinum and rank you will never get the chance at getting my points i don't give a fuck if the tag's on the verge of being blacklisted i don't care you will not able you will not be able to get points off of me you don't deserve it uh what was that platinum player's name again let's go ahead and ban him please Let me tell you something, Mr. Simpson. I'm always going to quit in Street Fighter V because the game does not represent what a real fighting game is. So you're always going to see me rage quit. All right, thank you. Raymond Carver with an underscore. Got you. That'll be taken care of ASAP. We got enough time for one more game. How do I lose to bad players but win against good players? Because... Bad players are unorthodox scrubs that don't follow the game's rules, and they do shit you don't expect. So it's easy to lose to somebody like that. Remember when Chuck Liddell lost to Keith Jardine? Prime example of this game. Chuck Liddell lost to Keith Jardine. I think he got knocked out by him. I think we got stream tag. Fuck with the more game. Let me change into my gym clothes.
the match was too laggy in the first place. So that's exactly why I quit. He would have never got that W on me if it wasn't so fucking glitchy and laggy. It was another nigga with a Mexican flag. Who is this dude? 